Hey friends, hey, what is up? Welcome, 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 and welcome back if you are not new here. My name is Alex at Defined by Alex, where we are defining our lives and building our dreams, okay? Okay, so you guys, this is gonna be a great video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how you can start your own at home heat press t-shirt business in 2021. Now, you may have discovered me because last year in 2020, I made a video on how to start your at home t-shirt business, side hustles during quarantine, and that video took off. But you know what? It dawned on me that I wanted to make an updated video for those of you who are new, for those of you who are just curious, who have questions that you need answers. Your girl is here for you, okay? So, in today's video, I'm gonna go through everything that you need to start your very own at-home heat press business, y'all, okay? Very simple, very easy, and I'm sure that you'll be walking away from this video having a better understanding at what you need to do. Be sure you stay till the end so I can give you a running list of all the items that you need to run your heat press t-shirt business in your own crib, okay? So, without further ado, let's jump into this video so you guys can see see what all it takes to run a t-shirt business in your own home. Let's get into it. Okay, so I want to start off with the very first essential items that you'll need to start your heat press business. Number one, your heat press. Now this particular heat press that I have, I purchased it from eBay. I'll be sure to leave all of the links in the description box below for you guys so you can check that out. But this was under $300. Now I got this back in 2020. The price now has completely dropped because a lot of people have been purchasing them. So I'm sure you can get this for like a good $150 right now. But this is a what's called a five in one swing press. So you can swing it to the right or you can swing it to the left. You have your handles to press it down to press your shirt. Now this is very inexpensive. I truly believe that this is very budget friendly, but this is what I have you guys to start off with and I haven't had anything since. So when starting off, if you're curious about your budget, I'm certain that you can definitely achieve starting your business with this heat press specifically because right now it's under $300. The next major item that you're gonna need for your heat press business, especially if you plan on making your own designs and applying them to your shirt, you're gonna need some type of vinyl cutter. Now, I personally have the Silhouette Cameo 4. I got it around the same time I got the heat press that I just showed y'all, and I've never had anything else. Um, I'm not a Cricut user, but I will say this, in case you guys are not familiar, when it comes to designs, I feel that the Silhouette Cameo gives you more options to create designs than Cricut. I think they might be around the same price, if I can be honest, but as far as what you're looking to create, how much flexibility you're looking to have, then I would recommend the Silhouette Cameo, whether you want the three, four, or now the four plus, because it gives you a lot of options. More specifically, when it comes to t-shirt designs, you can make designs with words or letters or whatever, or you can also achieve what's called the print and cut design. I'm gonna insert a clip here to show you guys what I mean, but with the Silhouette Cameo and for heat press businesses, you can achieve printing graphics on your shirt, okay? So I wanted to break that down for you so you can know what the difference is if you're considering the Silhouette Cameo or the Cricut. Okay, so let's backtrack. So I just mentioned that for the Silhouette Cameo, you have more variations and more options to printing your shirts. But one thing that I wanted to point out that I feel like I didn't do in my first video was mention the type of printer that you can use to achieve your more graphic and more artwork t-shirt designs. I personally use this H HP NV6055 printer and it personally allows me to create graphic artwork if my friends or family request t-shirts where they want pictures on it well I can achieve that because now I have my printer my heat press and my silhouette cameo to achieve the entire look another thing I wanted to point out that when it comes to using your HP or your inkjet printer even if it's not an HP you want to make sure that you get heat transferred paper let me show you what that looks like this brand right here, PPD, yes, the PPD paper. This allows you to achieve your heat transfer designs all while using what looks like copy paper, okay? So whenever you wanna do that, if you wanna step outside of just typography or words on your shirt, then I highly recommend you get some type of heat transfer paper, you load it into your printer, you print it out, and then you cut it on your Cameo. I'll leave a video right here to show you guys how I achieved that in case you're interested. So here's a quick tip. 
If you do want to use images that I just explained to achieve a more graphic design on your shirt, just make sure that you use images that are copyright free so you won't get in trouble for using someone else's artwork, okay? All right, let's move on. Okay, so now that I've gone over the bigger items, which is your heat press, your vinyl cutter, and your printer, if you're interested, the next big piece in starting a t-shirt business are the t-shirts. So, I mentioned this before, but again, I wanted to put out this video so that new viewers can know where to shop for quality, and I mean good quality blank t-shirts, okay? So I personally use Jiffy shirts, love Jiffy shirts. However, there are more options that you can use if you don't want to use Jiffy shirts. You have SNS Activewear, and you have Bella Camp. It's just the actual Bella Canvas site where you have to um, get your wholesale license so that way you can create an account and therefore order t-shirts in bulk. So if that's the route that you're looking to go, then I highly suggest you guys get your resale license or permit, whatever state that you live in, make sure that you know what it takes to get that. So that one, when you're trying to obtain bulk items like t-shirts, some websites like Bella Canvas specifically will require you to have that, okay? So I just wanted you to know that if you do wanna shop there, make sure you have your resale license so that way it's gonna be an easier process for you. But as far as the t-shirts that I have been using, as you guys can see right here, I use Jiffy Shirt and the brand brand of shirts that I use are the Gildan soft style t-shirts. Honestly, as far as like how they feel, they're pretty like same level as Bella Canvas. They're just a little bit cheaper. So that was just my take on it as far as like comparing them. I like both, but I went with the Gildan soft style because you know we gotta save monies over here, okay? We are entrepreneurs. We're not rich yet, but we will get there, all right? Bet. So as far as all your t-shirt needs, Jiffy Shirt, SNS Activewear, and Bella Canvas if you want to order wholesale. But then reminder, make sure you have your resale license so you can do that all with ease. Okay friends, so now it's actually my favorite part to talk about when it comes to a heat press business. And that is all about your heat transfer vinyl, you guys, or simply known as HTV. If you are in the business of heat presses, you know that vinyl, you can get vinyl everywhere. You know that they have a lot of vinyl options for us and it can get very fun and creative. But one thing I wanted to point out, if you're a beginner and you're looking for easy, seamless vinyl, then I highly recommend you go through the Caesar Easy Weed brand. More specifically, you can get that from Heat Transfer Warehouse. If you guys see the rolls behind me and that I have right here, these are all the rolls of vinyl that I personally use for my shop. So shout out to Heat Transfer Warehouse. They are such a great company when it comes to vinyl, all of your needs when starting your heat press business. If you have questions, they're very quick to answer any of your questions that you might have. And that's where I buy all of my vinyl. So I'll leave my link below in the description box so you can shop if you have any questions or if you wanna just take a look at their catalog. I mean, you have have plenty of options to choose from, specifically Caesar Easy Weed. So I wanted to show you guys some additional items that I think you can purchase when starting your heat press t-shirt business. This right here is called the Mr. Pen T Ruler. It's just basically like a checker for, just to make sure your designs are symmetrical and even. So I recommend that you use this or some type of ruler that you think you'll need. If you happen to purchase the Silhouette Cameo, then it will come with tools or you can also buy them separately. These are weeding tools. I got this from my local hardware shop to weed the vinyl and then this is just a scraper just for extra reinforcement so I highly recommend that you buy some type of weeding tool whether it's a kit or separately because you will need them next I will also recommend that you guys buy what's called a Teflon sheet and this is just a Teflon material what happens is you place it over your t-shirt design before you press it and this pretty much protects just the direct heat exposure to your t-shirt so again I'm gonna leave everything that I mentioned in the description box below but I just wanted to show you guys that you will also need a Teflon sheet for your heat press machine. Okay friends, so now that I've showed you guys what all it takes to start your at home heat press business, let's go through everything now in a running list so that you can start like right now. So. The first thing you're gonna have to get is your heat press. Now whether that's the swing press that I showed you or you can get a clamp style heat press, you have to start with that first. Number two, make sure you get a vinyl cutter. That can be a Cricut or a Silhouette Cameo, whichever you feel is gonna be best for you and your business. Number three, you're gonna need an inkjet printer or a laser printer. I specifically use the HP brand, but you can use any brand that you wish 
to achieve all of the artwork and graphics outside of topography for your heat press business. Number four, now you need vinyl, which is the HTV material that you apply to your t-shirts. Don't forget to use my link below to access Heat Trust Whole Warehouse's site to get all of your vinyl needs met. Number five, now you need to figure out what kind of t-shirts you need to buy for your business, whether that's Yildin, Bella Canvas, Next Level, you name it. There's a lot of options you have to choose from. You can also purchase your t-shirts from Jiffy Shirts, SNS Activewear, and Bella Canvas. And the last items are gonna be your items to really help your process of your application run smooth. That's gonna be your Teflon sheet, that's gonna be your weeding tools and your scraper that I showed you guys, followed by your Mr. Pen ruler or some type of ruler that helps you make sure that your designs are all equal and symmetrical, nothing is crooked, all that good stuff. All right, friends, so that concludes today's video on how you can start your at home heat press t-shirt business in 2021 okay let's grow our income streams you guys let's really become the people who we know we can be it's time to boss up and let's get to it thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to leave a comment down below for me if you learned something new today okay let's connect as always friends don't forget to drink your water mind your business and always choose yourself first and i will catch you in my next video bye y'all